Hi, this is Paul Freelds, and I wanted to show you something cool that I whipped up today in Phase Plant. Uh, I'm using the new Phase Plant 2.1, and it includes this new granular generator, uh, which is really cool, uh, definitely worth playing around with. So what I've done is I've got a fairly broad envelope here uh, of a, a second or so, and I'm using uh, a little bit of position randomness little bit of timing and pitch randomness and level those it, it, randomizing those just a little bit kind of creates a little bit more of an organic sound a little less uh, a little less machine quality and then I'm also panning by about half randomly and we're using about half reverse uh, grains as well um, again it's going to obviously create a big pad and you can also see that from the the overall amplitude envelope here which is a couple seconds of attack and then about four seconds of release so clearly this is going to be a big pad now i'm also using down below uh, a little bit of note tracking and uh and an envelope uh here as well and this envelope is basically set up mainly to modulate the um, cutoff and and resonance above and so what you're going to get is going to sound something like this right now um, using the bowed violin sample that comes with phase plant. So obviously you can kind of hear the filter opening a little bit and closing there. Um, it, it doesn't sound very organic right now. So I've made a pretty cool little um, tremolo um, gizmo here, which uses some delay it's about three quarters of a second about 750 milliseconds of delay before it kicks in and then this this envelope basically ramps up and once the keys let up uh, obviously it it starts to uh, to ramp down again and what this is doing is it is modulating the speed of this lfo that you see next door and this lfo um, starts out basically dormant for again for the time that we're delaying here and then over time it's going to pick up speed and this lfo itself is actually modulating the overall tuning of the granular generator and so when you add that in now you're going to get a little bit of movement you're going to hear it start out at a pitch and then you're going to hear it start to wobble and it's going to wobble faster until i let up on the keys and then it's going to start to slow down again and what i was trying to do is sort of mimic uh, a guitar player using some cool pedals to swell in volume and then start to use their whammy bar and they sort of whammy a little faster and then they let up on that as they finish the swell Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, but of course, the real secret sauce with Phase Plant, um, other than obviously all of the powerful stacking that you can do uh, over here in the generators and the modulators, is the effects. And these three effects lanes where you can add all sorts of cool effects. You can also use a Snap Heap, which is part of their free set of plugins, or Multi Pass if you have that. And uh, what I've done is I've just done a few simple things here. I've added some dynamics to keep things level a um, saturation filter uh, which also carves off some of the highs that maybe sound a little less uh, organic a little less uh, guitar like and i'm sort of carving this off a bit and then of course a generous helping of delay and reverb uh, to give it some space and so now you get something like this which I think sounds a lot better. And so I'm going to be using this in the context of a song that I've been working in. So, you know, I haven't figured out the part yet, but it's going to be, you know, something like this. Something like that. So until next time, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope it inspires you to pick up Faceplant and do something cool with it. Enjoy.